Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, I am going to be doing 36 inches soft locks on my clients. As you can see, my client's hair is pretty short, but I'm going to, and you know, she has like fine hair, or almost fine hair. I think her hair type is probably like 4A or 4B or somewhere in between, but we're going to try and get her this um 36 inches soft locks. Initially, she wanted to book for not less braids but she changed her mind to locks and i'm like low-key i'm glad you did because i mean she changed it like a day before and i haven't seen her hair then but i think it was a good thing that she did because you know i think her hair can definitely do away with locks but for braids or not less braids i would not trust it to last as long especially when you're getting anything waist length that's going to be pulling or something like that but let's see how we can make this work for her so as you can see i already applied my edge control trying to make my line because clearly i cannot really like use a scrunchie to like hold her hair up so you have to apply the edge control and that will just serve as your demarcation basically so i mean that's the only thing that you can do so right now i'm going to go ahead and braid so usually i would just braid my client's hair with nothing attached but since the hair is short i am going to go ahead and braid my client's hair with you know i took one strand of the spring tooth hair divide it into two then we have two strands right and then i use one half to braid it but as you go in the video i am going to show you how i prepped the hair that i used to braid my client's hair mind you I wasn't aware about how short the hair was, so I had to do this one ASAP. But I think you can use braiding hair as well. So braiding hair, spring tooth hair, kinky hair, some hair, just use a hair that is kind of kinky, just so that you just have some type of firmness to your client's hair. And that will just serve as, you know, a natural hair or just something that a crochet hook can go into. I do have some more tips for you guys. You guys go in the video, but I'll be telling you as we go. So again, we're doing 36 inches color 1B. I, all the hair that I use for my clients, I do have the hair link in my description in my description box. If you have gotten to this point of my video and you haven't subscribed, please do so. Please like, comment, subscribe, and also share my video if you like what you see. Naturally, even when your client's hair is 1B, say one b <laughs> yeah no matter the texture of your clients here the neck area is, and the edges area are usually the sensitive ones to braid like it could be either really soft or you know just it's just hard to basically grip so just imagine you know what you have to go through when your clients have like shorter hair and you have to braid from the back so doing this is very very important it does help i'm going to go ahead and do this for the rest of my clients here and then i'll be telling you some more stuff as i go in the video one thing i would say is that when you're doing hair like this hair like this as soon as you apply your edge control you need to start braiding asap because you don't want your edge control to start getting oily and then it might just start you know making it a bit slippery and again it's okay if you try to braid it one time and then it ends up falling out just try again and just make sure you're holding it really tight and firm again this might hurt a little bit which makes sense because again your client hair is short right so you have to grip just so that you know of course don't don't pull the scalp like no but just try to grip just so that you know it's firm towards the roots and to make sure that when you're trying to get your soft locks through your client's locks it's firm and it doesn't like fall out or anything like that so now that i'm almost done let me go ahead and tell you how many packs i use so for the locks here i use three and a half packs one pack has about 21 counts to 22 or 23 strands so basically you would never have less than 21 strands of locks in your you know per pack basically per pack equals one pack equals one bundle one bundle basically so i'm going to go ahead and do that for the rest of my clients here so yes this is where i'm going to show you how i um braid my clients hair so of course you can try try helping yourself to comb your clients hair with the edge control before you start braiding just so it's not bulky when you get to the roots or the ends of your clients hair so that's one shot of the print spring to see i'm going to go ahead and cut it and then i'm going to use that half into two and then just act like i'm about to start braiding and then i'm going to use that one to braid the essence is that 
this hair is supposed to be lightweight and soft so you want to try to cut as much hair as you can you don't want to use too many air on your clients basically so for this one i only used about two pack or two and a half packs of the spring to hair for the locks the 36 inches locks we had about um i used about three and a half because she had about 73 counts of um soft locks basically and she wanted a size small so that's why i did that if your client wants a medium then of course you're going to end up having less counts but she wanted a small and that is what it's looking like right now it's still pretty lightweight as i was going through the video i kept asking you know if how she feels and everything because i want to see you know if me doing this part is going to add to the weight but it did not add to the weight for her when i was done so that's the good news and for this for the spring twist hair to wrap i used about again i used the same thing two and a half or just two and some change because of one pack one pack equals one bundle of the spring twist hair does have 30 counts 30 strands of spring twist basically so i used about those two pack and then 10 or 13 from the third pack so not really half but you know somewhere close that's why i said two and a half packs of the spring tooth hair and the lux hair was about three and a half pack because of one pack of the lux hair has 21 um strands of lux again if you are confused ask me questions and i'm going to answer all your question but now we are done this is the hair that i'm going to be using color 1b i do have the hair link in my description box I also will be having the comb and the edge control that I use for all my clients pretty soon. It's coming pretty soon, guys. Just give me a little more time and, you know, just more time. And that's the hair, 36 inches. And the good thing about this hair is that you can always cut it short. So I told my client that even though it's long right now because she wanted a waistline, but I'm like, you should get a, you know, you should get a butt length. So, you know, it's going to look nice on you. And it does look nice on her. She does love the hair. But I was like, after two weeks, if you're tired of having the butt length, just go ahead and cut it to a waistline. And then you can just keep cutting it and cutting it until you get to bob. And then you're lucky because your hair is kind of short. So you can actually do bob or cut it as short as you want to cut it basically so since i recommended for her to get a butt length i just charged for the price of a waistline because i really wanted her to have a butt length and also um this is the last time this is the last time i'm going to be having her as a client because again i'm moving from michigan to dallas texas so i just felt like you know be nice and she loves it and i told her you can just have fun with it it's long but you can always cut it if you want so as you can see i'm crocheting my clients here in Usually I would crochet all every single lock before I start wrapping But I'm going to show you something right now when I'm when I'm done um, with what I'm about to do right now As you can see I'm holding the roots of my client hair as I'm pulling because you don't want to pull too hard again Your client hair is already short So the last thing you want to do is try to pull anything at all because when you do that It's going to soften or weaken the roots and then your client hair might start slipping through and that is what you don't want to do You want to avoid any type or any form of pulling the only pulling and whatever you should be doing is when it's time for you to wrap your clients hair then you can hold it really really firm and then start wrapping it without any problem or issues at all yeah and also i use hot water for my clients when i was done i used hot water to massage my client's scalp just so that you know the loss can be softer naturally it's soft but when you wrap around especially from the roots and with the sprinkles here it might not be as soft as you want them to be so the hot water does help it you know make it softer and just make it very very flexible basically so yes um i would just say if your client's hair is short when you crochet your client's hair in wrap asap you don't want to wait because of the weight or the fact that the hair is long might just be pulling through so now i'm just going to be freestyle wrapping with this method you don't have to like there's no special technique for it just skip and you wrap skip and you wrap for my butterfly locks i don't skip but for this one since all i'm just trying to do is secure and create a texture you're going to skip just so that it just creates its own messy soft locks um look well yes um that'll be all for my <laughs> for my tutorial um i had to say a lot for this one because of i haven't done a client's hair i haven't done a short hair client that wanted a 36 inches um locks so that's why i had to say so much for this video if you have any questions feel free to ask me and again please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll be seeing you guys in my next video thank you
Thank you.